In this lesson, we would like to calculate what is the work done in raising the pendulum to a certain height. Let us imagine a pendulum who is having a string which is very much light weighted whose mass is negligible. Let us assume that there is a bob whose mass equal to m. It is fixed to a rigid support as shown. Now we are applying a force on the bob, therefore the pendulum will shift from the existing position to a new position. Let the pendulum has shifted to this position. It has happened because you have applied a force. It is shifted because you have applied a force from here to here. Shifted by an angle something like theta. What is the work done in this process we would like to calculate. While, while we are solving this problem, we will be taking the center of the pendulum as a reference point. That position is actually also called an equilibrium position or a main position. Let us assume that position as a reference position. As if like we have taken the surface of the earth as a reference position, you can consider this as a reference position. And at that point, <coughs> at that reference position, let us imagine that the potential energy equal to 0. Now it has shifted from this position to this position. So with respect to the reference position, it has gone to a height h. Therefore, the work done in shifting the body is nothing but stored in the format of a potential energy. And I would like to write that potential energy as we have proved in the previous post is nothing but equal to mgh. But we do not have any information regarding that h. Let us imagine the point of suspension is O. Let this point is A. Let this point is B. Let this point is something like C. So, h is nothing but equal to BC. If you draw a perpendicular line onto the basic line, you may get a value something like ED. I can say BC is also BC is also nothing but equal to AD. We can further write the value of AD which is of course equal to BC as OA minus OD. OA is nothing but the length of the original pendulum. So in the place of OA I can definitely write L but I don't know the value of the OD. I would like to calculate the value of that OD. And you can identify there is a right angle triangle in the diagram triangle O D B. So I want O D, therefore I will write cos theta. We know the definition of the cos theta as adjacent side by hypothesis. Adjacent side is O D, hypothesis is nothing but O B. Cos theta equal to O D, I would like to calculate. OB is again nothing but the length of the entire pendulum L. Therefore, we can write length of the pendulum as OD by cos theta. Anyway, as I am interested in the value of OD, I can write OD as L cos theta. Substituting this value of this OD in the place of BC or in the place of H, I can write H as OA minus OD. It is nothing but L minus L cos theta that is L of 1 minus cos theta. Substituting this value in the very definition of the potential energy, we can write work done. Our potential energy is mgh that is nothing but equal to mg L of 1 minus cos theta. We can calculate the work done in this case using this formula. <coughs> Here, we would like to just extend this discussion a little bit further. If suppose somebody say it is not the bob, but it is a rod. The basic difference between the bob and rod is in the case of a simple pendulum, entire mass is at the bottom itself. But in the case of the rod, mass is not at one point, but a distributed over the entire space of the rod. So where I have to consider the point where the mass is existing, I shall consider a point called center of mass where the total mass appears to be concentrated. Where is that center of mass if the entire rod is having a length L, 
the center of mass will be at a distance uh, l by 2 therefore the rod is shifted now from that position to this position everything else is same to that of the previous case uh, it has gone to an angle height h shown with an angle theta therefore i can write work done as as we have proved just in the previous uh, cases uh, mg but not l i have to take only l by 2 because i can draw an equivalent diagram like uh, entire mass is concentrated at the center of mass l by 2 itself uh, and it has shifted why i have taken l by 2 this is the point called center of mass where the total mass of the system appears to be concentrated we have to take this kind of the things into consideration when the mass is not at one particular place rather mass is distributed over the entire system so as per the previous formula work done is same mg but being center of mass is focused at uh, half of it mg l by 2 of 1 minus cos theta is equal to the work done of course we can uh, clearly say that this work done itself will be stored in the format of potential energy so at the mean position there is no potential energy when it has gone to that particular position we can say this work done itself is equal to stored in the format of a potential energy itself okay